Hi, today's question of the day is if the temperature is lowered, the original DNA strands can be renewed or renature. In addition to the full double stranded molecules, some molecules of the type shown here are seen when the molecules are examined under the electron microscope. How can you explain these structures? Uh, you may uh, stop uh, video here and try to figure out uh, the answer on your own. You don't need uh, any special knowledge. Um, this is just a basic uh, genetics and then you can compare your answer with my explanation. So here's my explanation. Uh, when we have two strands of DNA and um, for example uh, I can draw one strand and this is another one. So uh, all the bases that we have here are complementary to each other. For example if we have A on one strand we have to have T on the other. If we have uh, C here we should have uh, G on the other strand. So if we um, separate these two strands, for example uh, applying a heat um, like in PCR, so we can get uh, two uh, single stranded DNA and how a structure like uh, here on the left can be um, can happen. Uh, it's just because of the same rule of the complementary bases. For example, uh, bases here that is formed can be, for example, A, 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 and uh, on the other strand. Uh, this is the same strand but a different uh, fragment. Uh, this is going to be all T's. So these two uh, fragments would be complementary to each other. Those, this is the same uh, strand of the DNA. Uh, and the same thing here. So this can be C, G, A. So here going to be G um, and C and T. And um, it, on uh, in this fragment, um, why it's uh, formed like a loop? Just because uh, there is no complementary, for example, T, 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 and G, G. G. So there is just no complementary. Um, uh, pairs here, so this, this is going just to be a loop. Um, and why it's um, important to uh, uh, study such structures? Uh, because uh, it has different um, applications. For example, if uh, in genetic injury, engineering we are trying to build uh, a gene and try to express this gene, for example, from the eukaryotic uh, uh, organism, we're trying to express it in the uh, um, prokaryotic organism. Uh, so sometimes um, at the beginning of the gene uh, such uh, structures may form that prevent um, uh, normal uh, binding of the proteins that uh, begin the cycle of uh, making uh, message RNA and uh, if not message RNA are made so, so that means that no protein also made and of course um, there is a dif different other important um, application like uh, for example uh, you, you can see here this is uh, tRNA and um, on the right side you see um, uh, liner form and here is the same but three-dimensional form and blue color here is um, the same fragment uh, on the left picture so um, 
and uh, all the other colors also. So, and uh, for example, this is um, three prime end, and this is five prime end, and same here. So, um, this is tRNA that is very important for making a protein chain, uh, polypeptide chain, and of course, uh, no life will. Uh, would be exist without uh, help of the tRNA uh, transport RNA that is uh, uh, as you see here also um, uh, self -com complementary and um, also I want to add that when we for example trying uh, to express uh, uh, for example uh, a gene for example in the uh, bacteria and we want to prevent such structures to be formed like here on the picture uh, what we can do we can change uh, our basis without changing the message itself why it's possible because uh, uh, the code is generative uh, degenerative and that means that uh, same amino acid can be uh, coded by three, four different uh, variants so we can uh, change our basis in such order to prevent uh, such structure uh, to be formed without changing the message. Uh, we can change DNA basis but still would be able to produce same um, uh, message that code for the same amino acids. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. If you like my video, please thumbs up and subscribe for my videos. Uh, want to new videos every week. Uh, thank you for your attention. Goodbye.